As I walked through the abandoned asylum, the weight of the decaying walls pressed heavily upon me, echoing the whispers of the tormented souls that once inhabited this place. I was foolish to accept the dare to explore this forsaken building alone, but my pride refused to let me back down. The air was thick with a palpable sense of dread, and with each step, I could feel the eyes of unseen entities boring into my very soul. It was then that I heard the faint sound of a child's laughter, chilling me to the core. Ignoring every instinct screaming at me to flee, I followed the haunting melody deeper into the asylum's labyrinthine corridors. Suddenly, I stumbled upon a forgotten nursery, its walls adorned with faded wallpaper and broken toys scattered across the floor. And there, standing in the center of the room, was Slendrina, her ghostly form swaying eerily in the darkness. Before I could react, a bone-chilling whisper filled the air, and Slenderman materialized beside her, his towering presence casting a shadow over me like a shroud of death. I tried to run, but it was as if the very walls themselves conspired to keep me trapped in this nightmare. With each passing moment, Slendrina and Slenderman drew closer, their malevolent gaze piercing through my very being, and as their twisted forms closed in around me, I knew that I had stumbled into a realm of darkness from which there was no escape. For in the asylum's depths, Slendrina and Slenderman reigned supreme, forever hungering for the souls of the lost and the damned. At the time that I'm writing this story, I'm hiding in one of the closets in the nursery room, but I can hear Slendrina talking to someone.